about humanity. You'll call back, Toby. Thank God you're here, Jack. I don't know what. I... I wouldn't be anywhere else. I'm David's godfather, Toby. He's got to call back. It's my little boy. Oh, God. It's him. Get to the location I'm sending you, Toby. Be quick and don't attract attention. Just let me speak to my boy. Please, you don't need... Don't screw this up. I have a box about the right size for David's body. Toby, don't worry. We'll get your son back. Mr. Welsh, you made it. I'm impressed. Listen to me, you bastard! Stop playing around and tell me what you want me to do! I want you to do what I say. You're going to drive toward where we'll make the exchange. Stay off the main roads. If you can't keep out of sight, there'll be no meeting. Now, drive. We'll be there. Careful, Jack. I'm trying. Damn it. One more time. Just give me a reason, Jack. Uh-oh, we'll make it. Careful, Jack. I will do it, Toby. Come on! I'll do it, Toby. Remember that. Don't play games with me, Toby. Don't make me punish David for your mistakes, Jack. Please! Please, God! Why are you doing this? It's the money, idiot. It's always the money. You wouldn't understand anything else. Keep talking. You're digging a hole, and it's six feet deep. We're never gonna make it there! We'll make it! This is it, gentlemen. I'll be in the lobby at the next location. Once you give me the money, I'll bring the boy out. You have three minutes. Be there. Is he gone? All right, where's the money? In this bag? I don't have the money, Jack! Oh, I don't believe this! Okay, okay, he's headed to the lobby, not keeping tabs on us. We got three minutes to bring enough cops to storm the building and get your kid back. How do we get the cops to follow us? Hit and run. Is this gonna work? Well, there's one more cop! Careful! Alright, I see some more. We got another one! How much time do we have left? We've got the cops, Toby. We've got time to leave them there. Ah, damn. 
Stay in the car, Toby. I'm gonna lead them into the lobby. Tell Kathy we're on our way, Sweet Pea. Hey, Kathy, it's Loretta. We got the charges, we'll be at the demolition site and... Change your plan. Head on to the 101 and wait for instructions. Hey, look, is Kathy there? Shut up and get onto the 101, or they'll be collecting Kathy with a vacuum cleaner. Just do it. All right, who the hell is this? Santa Claus. Real frickin' funny. Put Kathy on. No, what is funny is what'll happen to you if you drop below 60, and the bomb stowed underneath your truck explodes. Isn't that right, Kathy? Do what he says! He's got a gun! Stay above 60 or explode. Not much of a choice. you are, we have a cargo of demolition charges. Yeah, whatever. Steer clear of speed bumps. If you want us dead, why didn't you just blow us up when we turned the key? Bigger plans. I'm monitoring your every move. You're getting careless. Huh, but I'm still saner than you. If this rig blows, it has to be somewhere safe. Nowhere's gonna be safe for us if it blows. I'm working on that. Yeah, why are you doing this? Did Jericho put you up to it? Jericho? <laughs> what? You think I'm some two-bit criminal? I'm doing this for the buzz. You're terrorizing innocent people. Don't knock it till you've tried it. Fear is power. I can close this city with a threat. A simple phone call. Drive safe now. Listen close, Loretta. In a few seconds, I'm gonna need you to get us both out of the cab. Both of us? Are you crazy? Someone else will take care of the bomb. Trust me. Dad, the stuff in the back, it ain't super stable. Neither's the bastard to put the bomb under our truck. Right now, I need something low enough to fit under that truck so I can snag that bomb. Ah, shoot. I just remembered. We have to drive under a truck. Wait, what? Yeah. How about that? Could have been nasty. I'm waiting for an explanation. Sorry, I don't have time for one. Look, if Jericho's planning a cyanide attack, we gotta move fast. Why do you think I planted a bug in Carl Krug's car? The thug from the ammonia job? So that's why they let him out of jail. Uh, you're getting the hang of this, Jones. The first thing Krug will do is call up his boss to say he's not a snitch. And we'll be in on the call. Hey, you sure Krug's gonna go straight back to Jericho? Without Jericho, he's nobody. And it's pronounced Krug, not Krug. Krug blew the ammonia job. What makes you think Jericho's gonna take his call? This is the only lead we got. How about we see where it takes us before writing it off? Well, there's Krug. I thought we agreed to pronounce it Krug. Whatever. Sure looks happy to be free. Well, let's see where his happiness leads us. OK, 
Okay, we're close enough. You better have something to say. Just stay on his tail. Look, Rug. You should be inside. Boss! I know. I caught a break. Tainted evidence. They couldn't hold me. What did I tell you, man? It's Jericho. Hey, shut up. I'm trying to listen. Tainted evidence? <laughs> Yeah, that's very convenient. Listen, boss, I know how it looks, but you know me, right? I swear I ain't a rat. You swear? What next, Carl? Cause your heart hope to die. I ain't a rat. Listen, that ammonia job, someone squealed. Cause it was like every car in the city was an undercover cop. They were waiting for us. What makes you think I need you? I'm a good soldier, boss. Loyal. Your muscle crook. You're disposable. You're making a mistake, man. You are making such a big mistake. Never call me again. Damn it! Great. Jericho's cutting him off. Krug's desperate. He'll try again. You better be right. Carl, it's Ramon. Ramon, I'll call you back. Not convenient, man. Not what you owe me. Don't get all sweaty, Ramon. You'll get your dues. I've been inside. Not my problem. You've been avoiding your obligations, Carl. That ain't smart. Whoa! Looks like you've got a high opinion of yourself while I was away. You know who I work for? I don't give a rat's ass who your boss is, Carl. You owe me money. That puts me way above your boss. Ramon, it's swell your balls finally dropped, but don't push it. I pay my debts. You'll get you. Too late for promises, Carl. I've got a rep to keep. You brought this on yourself. Asshole! Sounds like Krug's in over his head. Not our concern. As long as he leads us to Jericho, he's on his own. We gotta protect Krug. Give him time to lead us to Jericho. Time to tear these streets up. I'm with you, Rocco. I saw those ammonia trucks get blown to hell on... Okay. Krug's off the hook for now. Give me something. How about a pony? You've got a minute to convince me why I shouldn't rub you off the face of the earth. I thought the amount. I know where we can get some more. You think I've been sitting around jerking off while you were inside? I got what I need. You made the gas? That's right, Carl. You still need people, right? And I'm people. Trustworthy people. See, the thing is I got debts, boss. Big debts. I need money fast. I'm desperate, boss. I'll take any kind of risk for you. You think I'm wearing a wire? I swear you can search me. Search my car, my place, man. I, I promise you won't find nothing. Bye, Carl. 
Jesus. Jericho's cold, man. Doing that to one of his own? He's smart. You knew Krug was a liability. Yeah, smart and cold. Lord help us if he ever gets to use that sign now. With Krug dead, we've only got two leads. But if we can't trace the signal that detonated that car bomb, looks like all we've got for fallback is our old friend Ordell Williams. It's all about humanity.